Hello, I'm Antti Leijala. Uh, I'm the CEO of uh, Ultra Lean Business LTD and a doctoral uh, student at uh, Oulu University, uh, Finland. Dualities in data-driven business-to-business sales and sales management. The underlying research idea uh, consists of several points. Uh, first of all, data-driven sales is a, is a commodity in business-to-consumer e-commerce, but, but in B2B side, uh, it's uh, still to large extent uh, that's, that's human interaction-based activity. Sales as a process is, uh, is still relatively new in literature. Uh, sales is, is often viewed as an, as an instinct-based activity and, and lacking this kind of a process-led and fact-based uh, uh, management. The, the development uh, speed of artificial intelligence and business intelligence tools is, is uh, far exceeding the, the uh, data literacy skills of, of, uh, of people and, uh, and still they are expected to boom also in the, in the B2B side. And the last is the process optimization uh, uh, methods like, uh, like Lean or Lean Six Sigma uh, they are business as usual in, in production and service environment, but, uh, but the entry to sales environment is, is still, still lacking. I'll present here four dualities, uh, uh, talking about business benefit, focus area, sample size and automation. First one is, is the business benefit. Uh, we, we analyzed uh, especially the the monetary impact of win rate improvement. So how big monetary impact it has if we can improve win rate with 1%, 2%, 3% annually. And we came out with a, a, a formula uh, or, or kind of a, as a result of the study, we, we uh, found out that, uh, that even uh, a, a small impact on the win rate uh, 1% annually, uh, it, it brings uh, several percentages of uh, compound annual growth rate. If, if the starting point is low, uh, kind of uh, starting with 10% win rate, then, then there's more, more room for improvement. But also in the, in the high end, it's, uh, it's basically always at minimum 2% compound annual growth rate, which, which is substantial for any business uh, uh, so it basically relates to, to market share even. So 2% market share improvement is, is high. If we compare this to typical benefit of waste-driven Lean Six Sigma projects, uh, the, the, the average uh, result is, is around 200,000 euros or, or, or dollars. And, and especially in the large businesses, the, the focus on the win rate and the growth side uh, provides much, much, much bigger, bigger uh, monetary benefit. And we found out that there's a universal formula uh, where you can link win rate with compound annual growth rate, which, which is one of the key outcomes of the, of the study. Uh, the second duality is, is, uh, is the focus area. So where should we focus? So uh, instead of uh, focusing only uh, between our company and, and the customer and, and the buying process, sales process and, and the customer satisfaction as a KPI, which is kind of the typical approach, uh, we look a, a bit broader. So we, we bring also competitors into the picture and, and when customer is now selecting their vendor uh, for, for services or, or products, they, are, they, they have certain set of buying criteria where they compare uh, our company against uh, uh, different competitors. And the and, uh, uh, third kind of uh, interaction area here is, is comparing our company versus competitors and what kind of uh, strengths and weaknesses we have. The win rate is an ideal measure of this, that uh, how, how well we win compared to the competitors. So focusing on uh, not only on the, on the customer satisfaction, which is basically uh, uh, analyzing our old customers, we, we broaden the picture and, and also, also uh, look at the new customers when, when focusing on win rate. Uh, the third uh, duality is, is the sample side and as a, as a basic uh, kind of a uh, um, 
underlying theory of the of the artificial intelligence. I'll first go through that. So traditionally, we've been uh, using a model where we uh, where we have different kind of rules and data, and 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 then we we use this as an input, and and we get some answers uh, uh, to our our decision making. Uh, in the artificial intelligence side. Uh, uh, we, this is the opposite. So we have answers and we have data, and and the outcome of the of the system is that we have rules. So uh, and and very often in artificial intelligence, uh, the, the systems are built uh, to analyze thousands or even millions of data data points. But when we now bring this to the sales environment, uh, first of all. Uh, there's a this Internet of Competition stack, which was introduced uh, end of last year. Following this model, we can first of all look at the answers. So we collect data on why did we win and lose sales cases, and we we have uh, a lot of data. Depending on customer side or, or, or company side, we we can have uh, thousands of data points, but uh, it's enough to have uh, only uh, roughly 30. Uh, sales cases in, an, uh, in our analysis. So that basically means that even self-employed companies can can start using artificial intelligence to get the, the, the answer to the probably the biggest question they have. How do I win the sales case I have on, on table? If we now uh, look a bit deeper on this uh, Internet of Competition model, so uh, first of all we start with the customers, competitors, market. So the fundamental question is that uh, what is our competitiveness there? And, and we measure this with, uh, with win rate. We have the data collection level where we, we uh, typically the salesperson collects data from the customer that uh, tries to find out that why did we win or lose. Uh, it's entered into the infrastructure, which can be CRM system for bigger companies. In smaller companies, it's, uh, it, uh, it's handled uh, via Excel. Then we have the analysis, so we analyze the information, both the data and the process side. Uh, and we have an application level and, and kind of a digital service where we uh, look at how to use this, uh, all this data and analysis for, for business decisions in order to win uh, better in future, so in order to improve win rate continuously. Data quality is of course a fundamental Question here, so the, the, the better data we provide into the system, the, the more accurate answer we get. This is now uh, linked uh, closely with the Lean Six Sigma method uh, and, and the so-called DMIC uh, approach, where we have define, measure, analysis, improve and control phases. So you can uh, closely link these two models together, which, which means that we can actually use Lean Six Sigma method to, to improve also the, the, the sales process efficiency. The unique findings uh, or in, unique and interesting findings of the study, first of all, uh, if we look at the evolution of uh, uh, quality methods, Lean Six Sigma, Lean Six Sigma methods, and then on the other, other side we look at the evolution of uh, uh, sales methods, product, services, sales, marketing mix, four, five, six, seven piece, uh, solution sales and so forth, we see that the Internet of Competition is the, is the glue between these uh, pretty diverse uh, domains. And this is especially enforced with the introduction of artificial intelligence and uh, different business intelligence tools. The other interesting finding is that there is a, a universal rule uh, uh, which links win rate as, a, as, the, as the KPI to compound annual growth rate, which is uh, every company is interested in, in, in growth. And uh, this means that it's, it's the kind of, uh, there's an endless potential for qualitative improvement for one uh, company. And on the other hand, we have uh, more than 100 million uh, B2B companies in the world. Uh, where you can apply this. So you can see that it's, it's an endless potential to, to improve uh, your, your growth. Thank you uh, for, uh, for the opportunity to present this and uh, for further insight or questions, uh, there's my contact details. Thank you.